Let's do some business on Joy News today. I am Beverly Broom. Ghana is expected to benefit from a $170 billion World Bank Fund aimed to helping member countries address multiple overlapping crises in their economies. An initial $50 billion would be ready by July this year. The World Bank says it would help members, member countries manage rising inflation, energy and food supply shortage which have been fueled by Russia-Ukraine war and lingering COVID-19 shocks. David Malpass is the World Bank president, and he has been speaking from Washington, D.C. So whether it's Nigeria or, the, or, or Ghana, the countries that we've mentioned today, the keystone is uh, to, to have plans and programs for the country that benefit the people and allow the, the poverty to be alleviated and the, the uh, median income to go up. What is it that will cause more investment in the country that's, uh, that's productive? Um, and we look for those programs and then try to rapidly expand the, the programs programs in those countries that are making um, making progress toward beneficial results. Um, it, it, oftentimes, uh, in a crisis like this, this one, we will be allocating more money to social protection programs. That means these targeted uh, subsidies uh, for the poorest uh, so that they can have a path through the crisis uh, and then uh, and then have uh, uh, new businesses that start, new jobs that start on the other side of the crisis. 